witches welcome or welcome back to my channel i am the woodland witch and today is a very special day we're going to salem as a lot of you know i moved to new england recently specifically new hampshire and i live about an hour outside of salem over the last two years i've become really close with someone up here the good witch of the northeast we bonded a lot over my pregnancy we had very similar pregnancy stories and delivery stories and we had just immediately connected as friends and we video message like every single day as a lot of you know my pregnancy and my delivery was super super complicated and i honestly don't think i would have made it through it without her and today after two years i get to meet her and what a better way to do that than meeting up in the witch city so i don't want to spend the whole time i'm there filming so i think i'm going to do some clips and snippets and just kind of compile it together so you can kind of see everything see what we did i know we're doing a brew making class at the witchery which i'm super stoked about you can pretty much customize and create your pers own personalized broom and it's they're b gorgeous so i'm really excited about that but most importantly i'm just excited to like see my friend finally bond together and have such a fun day and then after i'm gonna pop back in here and we will do a witchy haul we will talk about some of the things i got some of the things i saw there and overall just my experience in salem so without further ado let's go to salem So I'm here, I made it. Um, I'm in the center park area. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love it so much. I like am weirdly emotional and my Capricorn moon is screaming. Um, but I'm on my way to go meet my lovely, lovely friend and I can't wait. Um, it's so incredibly beautiful here and so historic and I am so excited to explore. so much fun um, it's been about two weeks now 
and things have been a little hectic so I'm just now filming part two to this video but it was so so much fun and I'm so happy I got to meet my friend and I think we're actually going back this week <laughs> um just to kind of explore the the sites a little bit more and go to the wharf which is like where the lighthouse is and the docks and everything so I'm pretty excited about that overall the trip was so much fun and I'm really excited to go explore some more it was definitely touristy exactly what I kind of expected it to be but it was really fun and a lot of places didn't let you film inside um either to copy for copyright issues or because they're like family-owned businesses which is totally fine um I didn't want to be filming the whole time I was there anyway so I figured it was best to just kind of show little clips and snippets of the day the museum was definitely like theatrical it was it was out there but it was fun it's not Halloween time so it was way less busy which was kind of nice I didn't know what to expect a beautiful city as you saw I was like right in the middle of this park area and it was gorgeous it was freezing but it was absolutely beautiful and you could just feel like so much history and so much energy there it was really really nice so I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I got while I was there there's quite a bit of shopping so um I tried to refrain <laughs> from getting too much but there were just definitely some things that I I felt like I wanted to have the first thing being this lovely lovely broom right here um, as you saw in the clip, we did a broom making class at the witchery. I had so much fun. It was amazing. And being able to put your own like energy into an item that you use in your craft pretty regularly is just, it, it was awesome. You got to pick your wood. So I chose ash, which is one of the sacred trees to the Celts and the Druids. You got to pick like your colors, what kind of broom corn you wanted, um, any floral arrangements. So here I have lavender, jasmine, rose. Also had add-ons too. So I got this lace to cover. Um, I guess you would call it, it was like a wax twine to kind of hold everything together. Um, and then I have a Triskillian. Most of the things I, I got are, as a Celtic folk practitioner, pretty much everything I got was surrounding Celtic folk magic or Celtic heritage. I added some crow feathers in here too for Amarigma, um, which was really cool. There was just so much stuff to choose from and it was really hands-on. Uh, the teacher was really, really helpful and there were, I think like five or six of us in there. It was just, I can't, I can't even describe how fun it was because just being able to create it and put everything together yourself and take it home and be like, I freaking made that was, <laughs> it was really cool. So that hangs up over near my altar space. Besoms are obviously long been seen in folklore. I made a TikTok about it and the process of me making the broom. And they are good for cleansing, for sweeping things towards the home. Any, I have like a small little besom that I keep on my altar and I will clean my hands with it before I do any workings and wipe down my altar space with it. There's the infamous witch's broom for flying, which we all know what that really means. They can be used to aid in spirit flight, and it was just really, really cool to be able to make my own and customize it how I wanted to. So we went to the museum, and that was fun, but super theatrical if you're into something like that. Um, they did have a little gift shop, so there was some cute stuff in there. They didn't allow me to film in there. It was a copyright issue, so I didn't really get um, a whole lot of footage when going in there, which was fine. It was kind of dark anyway, but it was cool and in the gift shop they had oh I wanted to buy one so bad they had these kitchen witches which are thought to bring good luck and help bless the kitchen and bless the home but they weren't for sale they were so so cute I think I had a clip of them in the beginning um but those were at the museum and I loved those I also got this hat mainly because it was like 20 degrees and I was so cold it was so cold so I got this hat and I thought it was super cute. I've seen hats like this before and I felt like there was no better place to get it than in Salem. I also got this herb, herbs and herb lore of Colonial America. Um, this I got at the museum too and it's just like a bunch of different imagery for herbs that are native to America and it has little quotes and just little folklore stories about them. So. I thought that I had to have that and add it to my collection. And the last thing I got was this herb chart. It has a bunch of different herbs on it and it goes into the medicinal and the magical properties. So I thought this was just a really good reference. I have most of these herbs already. So I thought it was really cool to just have like a quick, instead of having to look up everything because, you know, Lord knows that we would like to memorize every single correspondence, but you know, even for a green forest witch, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't happen. 
So after that, we went to Witch City Mall. It was super fun, um, kind of dead. It was kind of dead. I feel like malls are just dying out in general. But there was a store in there called Omen, and that's where you saw in the beginning all the tarot cards on the wall. It was an awesome store. I will say I their statues were amazing. Um, their deity statues, stunning. And their library, like their book selection was fantastic. So I highly recommend going there for that. I tried to rein myself in a little bit. Like I said, there was a lot to choose from. I pretty much just got, just got herbs while I was there. Um, I got white oak, which is thought to bless you with druid wisdom. And as a Celtic folk practitioner, you know, that's druidry is something that I study and I read into quite often. So I thought this would be cool to add to my collection. Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle is one of my favorite scents, one of my favorite flowers. It's great for inspiration, creativity. So I definitely had to have some of that. I haven't really found it anywhere um, at my local shop. So I was excited to find that too. Hawthorn berries. This is thought to be witch's protection. I just, I've never had hawthorn berries. So I thought it would be cool to have them. Um, they're really good for charm bags and just like carrying around for a little boost of protection. So I wanted to add that. And then I got some myrrh. This is it's kind of like resiny almost um i burn this as an incense on charcoal it's to honor the dead and honor um spirits i've been living the house i live in was built in 1890 and it's very old so um definitely one of the older houses i've lived in and i've been burning this to honor the spirits of the home we did some more shopping at Witch City Mall, um, but there were so many stores, so many stores. And Omen actually has a sister store called Hex that was really awesome too. It's kind of up the street a little bit on Essex, but that was an awesome store too. I didn't buy anything there, but I highly recommend checking out both of those. So the last store that I really bought anything in was the Coven's Cottage. They don't let you film in there. It is a family owned business. It was stunning. Like it's what I want my home to look like, honestly. Walking in, there's just herbs drying, flowers hanging from the ceiling. Um, they have this huge centerpiece um, with just baskets and baskets full of herbs. There was a fireplace in there and I walked in and I looked at, they also have like deity statues and things like that. Um, and they had this glass case and on top was Amarigna and Briad, which are the two goddesses that I work with. And they were right next to each other. And I was like, this is just perfect. This is where I want to be. It was a beautiful store and the people who worked there were so kind and so helpful. They had bones, books, furs, uh, all kinds of stuff, honestly. I highly recommend checking it out. It was super cute. The energy there was beautiful and like I said, everyone was so kind and helpful. So I got a few things while I was there. When you walk in, they had this like big barrel and it was full of hand embroidered like sachet bags. This one has Rowan and Hawthorne on it. They are both sacred in Celtic practices. Rowan is thought as a tree of protection and Hawthorne is known for emotional healing. It is associated with fairies. So I definitely had to choose this one. <laughs> but like I said, there was like a barrel full of them and they're all hand embroidered. They're stunning, just gorgeous. So I got something that I've seen used quite a bit but I've never gotten my own or really found it nearby. Um, but the Coven's Cottage had it and I got really, really, really excited and that is a Rose of Jericho. Rose of Jericho is associated with protection. They symbolize rebirth, transformation. Um, they're great for prosperity working. One of the employees actually recommended um, using a Rose of Jericho to open up, put coins in and allow it to close and use it as kind of like a charm for prosperity. Um, they also said it would be great as like a gift, kind of like a box. So if you're giving your friend a crystal or something, putting it inside and gifting it. Um, Rose of Jericho is really, really awesome. I haven't opened it up yet. Um, I was kind of waiting till after this video, but I'm probably going to do a post about it. Um, my fr friend Rachel, Good Witch of the Northeast, she did hers and it looks amazing. It's beautiful. And so I'm really excited to try it out. So the last thing I got was also from the Coven's Cottage and it is a set of witch's bells with the symbol of the Traquetra. And the Traquetra is a symbol um, in Celtic paganism that is typically used to represent one of the triplicities. So you'll see it in folk magic uh, representing the Holy Trinity. It can also symbolize a triple goddess, which is my thought behind this, working with Anmarigna, a triple goddess. It is also a symbol of protection. Like the Clada symbol, it is very commonly used in Irish jewelry today. 
so I thought it'd be a perfect addition to my new home. All right, that is my witchy haul from Salem. I had such an amazing time. I'm so thankful to have been able to meet such a close friend and to live so close to her now. I will definitely be going back. As I said, I live like an hour outside of there, so I definitely plan on visiting again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.